Have you ever made out with Madonna? <laughs> no, but I did kiss her at <gasps> her wedding, like a wedding kiss. Oh. An epic first date. <laughs> What do you plan? Well, I've, I've done different things, and, and sometimes I find, I find that probably it's better to not do too much uh, right away. It's kind of not good. If you, if you just kind of do a, a simpler thing where you get to know somebody, it's probably better than doing something kind of formal or, or extravagant. And then if you get to know somebody and things seem to escalate uh, in that kind of simple thing, then it just is means other things that are more extravagant make sense. Are you as open to falling in love as you were maybe when you were 18 years old, or have your experiences made you a little less? Maybe, maybe so. Maybe I'm a little, I'm a little less open to that because you after a, after a certain amount of uh, seeing patterns of relationships that are that end, and, and, you know, it's it's also something that I I I mean I would admit to being <laughs> a little confused or. Um, yeah, I'm not good at defining even the word love because I understand it and I've experienced it. I've called things love, uh, particularly early on in my early 20s. But then after experiencing a certain amount of things that you call it that and it turns into something that is not necessarily a a happy thing. It's like <laughs> maybe maybe it's better to be a little more careful about that kind of thing. And I know you hear that thing, what is it, always fall in love like it's the first time or something like that. Yeah. And I, I guess, hard. but I mean, <laughs> it's that's like saying don't, don't be alive. Or don't learn from your experiences, <laughs> Some, or something. But I mean, I, I understand it. I mean, there's there's something to it. But it but it's I don't know. One has one. I do think one should be protective of their emotional self. And I found that there are certain ways that I think about things now that uh, I I I suppose maybe there's a callousness in it, but I am not. Uh, as distraught <laughs> when something, when a relationship stops. But maybe, I mean, maybe that's a bad thing, but it's also, but maybe because that's kind of a norm, it's like, well, maybe that isn't a bad thing. Maybe it's better to have, because I do value these relationships, even, even if I wouldn't call it so much of a, a love relationship. And, but I'm, I am more careful about it. I think love is... I, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not the best person to have great insight into uh, exactingness of, of, uh, of it. I suppose if I had what would be considered a, uh, you know, my ideal of a love relationship, then I would still be in that relationship. Um, but here's, here's uh, something that I've always thought was a very beautiful romantic ideal was the relationship between uh, uh, John Cassavetes and Jenna Rollins. I thought, <gasps> what a yeah. per that's like perfect. Like, the, you know, he made great films. She was an excellent, uh, beautiful actress. They made great things together and, what, and they had a family together. I wonder if perhaps arranged marriages are the, the proper way to go if, if marriage is, is a thing. But that's, that's a different thing.